was very itchy and sometimes I would scratch and it was bleeding. Francine has been suffering with psoriasis for decades. It was all over my body, from the shoulder to my ankles. Psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that causes red plaques on the elbows and knees and sometimes scalp. It is very prevalent in Canada. About 1 to 3% of Canadians suffer from psoriasis. Dr. Ronald Vender is the founder and director of Dermatrials Research and the lead investigator in over 80 clinical trials. Psoriasis can not only affect the skin, but it can also affect a patient psychosocially. You can become quite withdrawn, want to stay indoors and not socialize. It can be difficult to find certain jobs and certain types of employment where you're with the public because it can be quite embarrassing. This psychosocial disturbance can cause even depression in many people. At first, I was very embarrassed. I couldn't relax. I couldn't wear short sleeve or uh, shorts. The people were asking, what's that? And that makes me very uh, embarrassed about it. Psoriasis is not just a skin disease. It's actually a systemic inflammatory disease of which many other problems can occur with it. So for example, diabetes can occur, high blood pressure, arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, and many other things such as hyperlipidemia or increased fat in the blood can be very common in patients that suffer from psoriasis. My joint hurts more and like uh, my ankles. I walk uh, every day because the doctor says it will help me with my arthritis. There are many different options that are available. There's topical therapy, there's ultraviolet light, there's also pills that are available for psoriasis. First I went on the light. It didn't work. After two or three minutes I was burning. After that they gave me a pill and it hurt my stomach so I didn't feel good, they stopped that, and after that I, they went to two pills, and uh, it didn't work either, it was uh, dam damaging my liver. But now there's newer pills that are also available for psoriasis with less side effects than the older medications, and there are injectable medications that can help someone that's suffering from psoriasis. The last five years I've been on a, another medication, it's two a day, 12 hours apart, and it's doing very good. I think that having psoriasis 10 years ago, it was difficult putting on creams and lotions and trying ultraviolet light therapy and messy applications of ointments. But now these patients can get clear or almost clear, and these patients can get control of their skin as well. Before it was all on my arms, and now this it's only a few spot here and there so to me I'm more relaxed I'm more like a, another person it's a, a lot different. The good news about the most recent treatments for psoriasis is that now there's hope for these patients that suffer from the skin disease and not only is there evidence that it can help improve their skin but there may be some evidence that it can help improve the inflammation that's going on inside of them as well as help different disorders that they may have, such as psoriatic arthritis. I was getting discouraged, but now I, I'm, I'm positive. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot better. To find out more about options for managing psoriasis, speak with your doctor and go to healthandfamily.ca forward slash psoriasis.